thought I turned them out, too. Well, maybe I didn't do it right. You know, I've never had any of these before. You know, we could have burned the house down. Yeah. I think we better learn how to do it right now, huh? <clears throat> That's out, right? Right. Go do the other one. I guess the trick is to get the wick all the way down. I could have sworn that's exactly what I did. Well, anyway, we're gonna have to get some more oil. I think it may be a while before Springfield Electric gets over here to find out what's the matter with our line. Now, that's the truth. Yeah. Don't you think there's probably some simple way to fix this, like, you know, kicking the fuse box or, you know... Oh! <gasps> what is this? Nothing was working last night. Must have been a local blackout. No, it couldn't have been. The street lights were still working. Well, maybe the um, the streets are on a different line from the houses. Maybe. Well, it'll save me the trouble of trying to get Springfield Electric over here, anyways. That's right. You yeah. got better things to do with your morning. That's huh? right. I do. I have a bowl of cornflakes coming, or some scrambled eggs, or you could uh, panel over the holes in the closet wall. Did you forget that? I was trying. <laughs> Do you really think there's any point? Well, unless you want your clothes buried in plaster dust. No, I mean, do you think there's any point in staying in this house? Oh, now, Tony, you're not having second thoughts about that offer Miss Piper made. Well, it's a hell of an offer, you gotta admit. <laughs> you know, I thought you were tougher than that. I mean, you're gonna let this real estate lady pressure you into giving up our dream house. Doesn't have anything to do with pressure. I just think that when someone makes an offer like that and puts it on a silver platter... And, and, then, and then proceeds to bang that platter over your head when you don't accept the offer. I just don't think we should say no until we've heard what she has to offer. Why are you saying this now? Because I told you, the deal's too good not to hear no, her out, no. at least. what's the real reason? That is the real. Beside my feelings for this house, I'm worried about you. About me? Yeah. I mean, you're spending so much of your time putting this place back together again that you're letting some other things slide. Oh, Tony, do you, th do you think I've, I've been... No, not that oh that's a relief <laughs> no i'm talking about your career my career my career is on hold for the uh, for the summer but your until dissertation September. is not you know is this the man who used to try and talk me into playing hooky i mean what do you want from me now a total drudge no but i know how much you love teaching and if uh, you don't get uh, this thing finished no, syntactical ambiguity in the works of herman melville is not the same as teaching and it is a lot less interesting than this place I mean, can you blame me for spending my time on this? No, I can't, but the university might. I don't care what those old fogies think. If those old fogies decide you're not fit to teach anymore, you'll lose your job. I hate it when you're right. I love it when I'm right. I tell you what. You sit down there and you concentrate on old Hermie, baby. <laughs> And I'll go up, fix the holes in the closet, and we'll both do our best to forget that Miss Piper ever existed. Deal? Deal. All right. If Miss Piper will let us forget. As you can see, this is not only the largest house on the hill. In my opinion, it's also the finest. It has hardwood floors complete throughout. You know, there is a lot of space in those rooms back there. Library and studies? Well, yeah. I mean, we could make bedrooms out of them. Yeah. Well, that would be a wonderful idea. They've already got bathrooms. It would. You know, in fact, we could even use one of those rooms for Josh's exercise room. Don't you think for his therapy room, we could put exercise equipment in there? We could even put in a big whirlpool in the solarium. Well, that would work out fine. It's nice and close to the swimming pool, and he should use that an awful lot, yeah. too. Well, would so, you like to see the upstairs again? Oh, no, no need to. Miss Piper, I cannot tell you how glad I am that Trish told us about you. I mean, the other realtors just showed us nothing but junk. You know, I heard about you when I was at Spalding Enterprises. Well, we handle only the most exclusive properties for a very select clientele. 
Well, darling, what do you think? For myself, uh, I like how it's situated, being close to Billy's place and all. Well, you know what they say. There are three rules when buying a house. The location, the location, and the location. And the location. <laughs> <laughs> you satisfied well, yeah. with it? It's going to take some work. I mean, getting the rooms all ready. we got to put wait, in all wait, the ramps. Wait a minute. Don't you all really think you should consult Josh first before you go no, through with all no, of this? No, no, no. Why bore with all those silly little details? He's got enough to handle. Besides, this house would inspire anyone. It looks like uh, you've gone and uh, earned yourself a fancy uh, commission, Miss... Uh, Piper. Piper. Piper, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, we'll take it. Where do I sign? This is loads of fun, Jake. What do you call this, your exercise in futility? I mean, I really don't see the point here. I can't feel anything. Well, you will. Meantime, we have to maintain muscle control. Oh, why is that? So my legs look terrific while they're just lying there doing nothing? I've been at this for a week, Jake. Yeah, five days. OK, fine, five days, but there's been no progress. There's been nothing. You might try working on your attitude, Mr. Lewis. More patience and less negativity. Sit up. Come on. Come on, sit up. That's it. Good, good. All right. Get your balance. Okay. Come on, put your hand, put your hand behind you. That's it. Okay, let's try to touch your left toe with your right hand, all right? Okay. Very good. Okay, excellent. Slowly. Left toe. That's it. Good. Jake. All right. Jake, it's for you. All right. You okay? Yeah. All right, continue alternating, okay, until I get back. Fine. Slowly. Okay, all right. Yes, who? Rima, don't touch me! <laughs> Fixed. You're fast, Joe. 